One of the things I was most excited for with the launch of the iPhone 13 Pro Max was the 120 hertz refresh rate and the gaming implications that would have on the iPhone 13 series, not only against other mobile gaming competitors on the Android side, but also handheld consoles like the Nintendo Switch, the Steam Deck that's coming out, and a lot of other devices. So here we go, we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max locked in to a Backbone One uh, controller setup. So pretty much an all-in-one handheld console with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, very much comparable to uh, a Nintendo Switch or a Switch Lite, both in terms of screen size, controller layout, pretty much everything is exactly the same, but you have a lot more capability in terms of gaming on this thing than you do on both of these. Now, although the iPhone 13 Pro Max can't compete with a Switch or the next generation Switch OLED when it comes to docking and actually playing on a TV, but it does compete when it comes to the selection of games that you can play on an iPhone, uh, especially when you consider Apple Arcade, Google Stadia, uh, Xbox Game Pass, and all the other games that are available on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And although we're not gonna talk about streaming services in this video, we will play a bunch of titles that you would never be able to play on a Switch because of features and applications like Steam Link and Remote Play via Steam that allow you to stream any game from your PC to your iPhone over Wi-Fi. Uh, so we will be playing some Halo in this video on an iPhone 13 Pro Max using the Backbone One controller. So let's just jump into the video and go through what makes the iPhone 13 Pro Max a really interesting gaming device in 2021 and moving in to 2022. Goodbye Nintendo Switch and hello iPhone 13 Pro Max. So here we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and of course it is in the Backbone 1 kind of controller conversion for the iPhone. And when we pair it up against the Switch Lite, you really get a nice perspective of just how these two really do compare size-wise. So the iPhone 13 Pro Max screen is actually bigger than the one on the Switch Lite. And the controller layout is very, very similar as well. Uh, and being that the Switch Lite doesn't have the Joy-Cons or anything, this is almost a direct replacement of that type of handheld console. Now with the Backbone One, you do get passed through both of Lightning and the headphone jack. So you can rock the power cable to the controller itself, which will pass through charge to the phone. You'll see now that there's actually a lightning cable on the one side of the controller that the iPhone plugs into, and that allows you to both pass through the power to the iPhone through that lightning port, as well as pass sound through the headphone jack and the microphone jack combo from the iPhone through the controller, uh, which is really, really nice. Now with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, there's a slight interference there with the backbone one being that this thing's been out there before the iphone 13 series launched but they do have an adapter coming out that will eliminate that interference now if we compare this to just a regular nintendo switch now very much the the same story as the switch Lite. the screen size is very much comparable especially when you look at the bezels on the switch it's almost the exact same size uh, as a iphone 13 pro max now, of course, you get the Joy-Cons that do come off of uh, the Switch. But if you were to compare size to size, the Switch with the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the Backbone One, very, very similar in terms of both button and controller layout as well as screen size directly comparing. And the 13 Pro Max is almost more of a direct comparison now to the Switch OLED, just being that the screen of a 13 Pro Max is so much nicer than that of a Switch. However, of course, with the Switch, you can you can dock it up to a TV and get the full console experience with the Joy-Cons. You're not going to do that with the iPhone, but it's still, if you're using it as a handheld console, very much comparable. So let's jump into some actual gaming on this thing. And right away, we'll launch Asphalt 9. And this just experience on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, really, really nice. Colors look great. Response is really, really good. There's very few games that are optimized for the 120 hertz of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but even at 60 hertz, this game looks fantastic.
and hopefully as you could tell there with that little demo with asphalt 9 the sound coming out of the iphone 13 pro max is also really really nice now although the backbone one and the iphone 13 pro will work with pretty much any streaming service out there including apple arcade uh stadia uh nvidia geforce and all of those different streaming platforms in this video, I'm really going to demonstrate Steam Link and specifically Remote Play feature within Steam that allows you to connect your iPhone directly up to your Steam client, your Steam PC that's running all of your Microsoft games and actually be able to play those on your iPhone using the Backbone One as your controller. So what I'm going to do here is just launch Halo uh, Master Chief Collection and we'll just play a little bit of some campaign. But as you can see, whatever's showing on my phone is pretty much being replicated on my PC so I can play this anywhere in my house as long as the internet connection is suitable and as we saw before I was getting almost 100 megabit per second so that is plenty of transfer speed uh, in order to play a game like Halo and stream it directly from my PC over to my iPhone now Steam Link is limited to 60 FPS again so hopefully these 120 Hertz and 120 FPS improvements will come down the line to a lot of these apps to take advantage of the new iPhone 13 Pro series. Uh, but if we jump into Halo, you'll just really see how good of an experience this actually is streaming from your PC over to your iPhone. And there really is very little input latency between the controller feeding over to your PC to control the game, as well as the sound coming from your PC and being transferred over to the iPhone for the actual in-game sound effects. Uh, so that is an awesome feature, being able to use something like uh, Steam Link connected to your PC in order to stream games locally. But of course, if you don't have a PC or you don't have a Mac in order to stream Steam games, you can, of course, like I mentioned before, use any of the streaming services that will work with Backbone One. Stadia, GeForce, Xbox, Game Pass, all of those are going to work with your iPhone and the Backbone One. So, of course, the Switch, the Switch Lite, the Switch OLED, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. But the 13 Pro Max provides somewhat of an opportunity for iPhone owners that are going to pick this particular iPhone uh, to be their mobile device. It is pretty much a full-fledged handheld console when you do pair it with something like the Backbone One. I mean, these, these things kind of transform the iPhone into real handheld gaming devices like you can get in a Switch or a Steam Deck or whatever other handheld you're looking to buy. Um, of course, this is a $1,200, $1,100 phone, whereas these are nowhere near that price but if you were going to buy an iPhone 13 Pro Max to begin with as your everyday device, then maybe you don't really need an additional gaming device when it comes to a Switch or those other devices that I just mentioned. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you do have a 13 Pro Max, or you were thinking of getting a 13 Pro Max, would you also get a handheld gaming device to go along with it? Or would you just use this as your gaming console? Definitely leave those comments down below. I am super interested in what you guys have to say. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments or you want to see a video detailing the Backbone One or Steam Link or anything like that, leave those down in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.